Hi, my name is Mary Adelaide. And my name is Paulina. And we're from the Creative Computing Lab. And we're so excited to share Getting Unstuck with you. So what is Getting Unstuck? Getting Unstuck is a new intermediate scratch curriculum for developing creative and conceptual fluency through student-directed projects. Why did we make this? Well, there are many wonderful introductory scratch curricula available in the world, but from the teachers we work with, we heard a desire for a next step, an opportunity for students to deepen their scratch experiences with greater creative autonomy and confidence. We want all students to be able to expansively imagine what they might create with code and then make their dreams reality. The best way to do this is by practicing, by making things that you love and that engage powerful computational ideas. The curriculum consists of 10 modules, each of which is organized around a prompt. Each prompt for student-directed scratch projects focuses on a particular computational concept, from parallelism to loops to data and more. For example, on screen is the prompt from the first module, When Clicked. Create a project where a user gets a surprise whenever they click on the stage or a sprite. The modules are self-contained, so you can teach as many or as few modules as you like. We recommend teaching at least three modules to help students develop comfort and confidence with the student-directed project approach. Each module includes teacher resources, like background information about the concept being focused on in the module and planning tools. Each module also includes 18 classroom activities, which you can mix and match based on your learner's needs and available time. These activities are designed to help students create scratch projects that are unique and that matter to them, while simultaneously exploring a particular computational concept. We do this by envisioning the classroom as a design studio. The design studio is a culture of joyful learning by creating, and we were inspired by studio cultures from other disciplines. In the design studio classroom, students are working on projects that they love, that challenge them intellectually, that they're excited to share with others, and that engage them in thinking about thinking. The Getting Unstuck curriculum supports students in this work through the essential activities of exploring, creating, sharing, and reflecting. The first set of curriculum activities supports exploring. This can be a powerful way to get started in a project, and our goal is to share models and inspiration that expand students' imagination and help them envision possibilities. One way we've done this is by offering Scratch Studios for each module with multiple project examples, many created by students, to show a range of what kinds of projects students might make. We've also offered different ways into exploring particular computational concepts, such as teacher-led unplugged activities or activities that support students in reading and understanding code. There are also opportunities for students to brainstorm ideas and draw on their own experiences, thinking about things that they have done or seen or things that they love to do. We hope that exploring a range of examples of what's possible and reflecting on their own interests will help students create projects that are personally meaningful to them. When students are creating projects they love, their work will take them in all kinds of wonderful directions, and they'll encounter all kinds of interesting challenges along the way. They'll get stuck and unstuck and stuck again, and it's not always easy to anticipate what bug they'll run into or what kind of help they'll need. In the curriculum, we've pulled together steps for getting started, supports for students who are stuck or who finish early, and scratch blocks to inspire exploration. We've also offered a trio of strategies for each module that helps students find and practice new ways of getting unstuck, such as taking a break or making a small goal. Planning and storyboarding activities invite students to map out their dreams for their project, while also giving teachers visibility into students' creative visions and hopes. As students create their projects, we hope they will support and feel supported by their peers. Helping students interact with each other's ideas and projects can further their own learning but learning to give and receive constructive feedback is a practice. In the curriculum, we've offered multiple sharing protocols to support students in giving and receiving feedback in a variety of ways. Sentence starters, included in each protocol, help students craft constructive feedback to one another. Protocols support both in-person and online feedback with examples to help students familiarize themselves with leaving comments in the Scratch online community. We know that there is no learning without reflection, so how can we make space for this important practice and ensure it's accessible and meaningful to students? In the curriculum, we offer a range of reflective activities that can be woven throughout each module. To make student thinking and learning visible, the curriculum includes activities that support writing in the notes and credits section of Scratch projects and leaving comments on code. Along with opportunities for formative assessment through daily journal entries and teacher responses, the curriculum provides summative assessments to honor students' growth and explore next steps together. 
As you can see, we've aimed to offer a range of activities and supports for students to explore, create, share, and reflect. There's much more you can explore in the curriculum, and we look forward to hearing what ideas it inspires for you and your students. You can find the curriculum at our website. Thank you.